the game can see the boxing boys. Virgil Ortiz, we're here again, man. I was at your last fight. You looked impressive, man. You're still not, you're nine and zero, correct? Nine KOs. All right, man. What's been the key for you, man, in your career so far, man? Knocking out all these guys. I think the the key was that I have had a lot of experience already, and uh, the power uh, definitely um, it works in my favor. So combining that, I know what punches work and what don't. So I just get them out of there, you know. Yeah, man, and we see you. Uh, I saw your post. You're now training or you're at least sparring at uh, RGBA, man. Talk about that experience. Talk about what they're doing for you and how they're helping you in, in, in your fighting. Yeah, uh, I'm training with Robert Garcia now, and uh, they're, they're definitely helping me out. And I'm, I'm using my head a lot more. Uh, sparring Mikey Garcia and uh, Jose Ramirez and other world champions, you know, you really got to use your head because if you make a mistake, they're going to capitalize on it. They, they have that experience to do it and without even trying to. So, and it's really rubbing off on me. Compared to my first sparring to my last sparring, I've completely changed, you know? So you say, you're say you saying head movement has been key, uh, something that you focus on since, since you've been over there? Uh, not necessarily head movement, just using my head, like smarter. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like I'm, I'm a lot smarter in the ring. Interesting, man. Uh, and talk about those sparring sessions, man. How did those How did those sparring sessions with Mikey go, man? Oh, man, the the, the sparring sessions have worked out for me really well, especially since he's a, a veteran, and uh, I'm sparring. I'm I'm fighting a veteran, so it's working out in my favor. But uh, sparring Mikey, it's it's been a great experience, and uh, I'm just gonna keep learning more from him. Definitely, Virgil. You're at 147 right now, right? 140. Okay. How do you feel at that weight right now, man? I'm. I feel pretty comfortable. I think I can stay maybe like four years, maybe even five, six. Interesting, man. So 140, you're gonna campaign there and see how it goes, huh? Yes, definitely. Cool, man. Uh, in your own words, Virgil, what do you feel is your strongest skill set? My strongest skill set, mm, I think. Right now, inside game, probably. Uh, well, we're we're sharpening up my uh, boxing skills, like you know, boxing, because I was actually a real good boxer before, you know, in the amateurs. I was. You're not anymore. Um, you know, <laughs> not 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 as good as I was back then. I was I was a real great boxer. Like I, if you know, there's there's some guys that you can't just fight one way with. If they're inside fighter, you it's best to keep them out. If if uh, if they like to move. You know, you got you to gotta learn how to, yeah, cut the ring and you got to fight outside. And once they do get tired, then you got to learn how to, you got to know how to fight inside. So you can't just fight one way. And that, that's the kind of fighter I was. I've kind of gotten away from that, but I'm starting to get back to it. So your, your versatility is starting to come into play, you feel? Yes. Okay, man. And since you said you've been, you became a pro, um, the boxing skill hasn't been as, as it was not at the amateur level, but you're starting to bang guys out. You're starting to really put like impose your will talk about that aspect of your game oh yeah definitely when i started pro um i think the knockouts maybe got a little bit to my head i felt like i needed to knock everybody out but these past fights have been getting tougher and i realized that i can't knock everybody out so i gotta learn how to use my skills go back to my skills how my old ways where i would just box everyone and uh, i think that if i stick to that I'm world champion pretty soon you know yeah, man, if you keep that IQ, you keep that smarts, you're going to be able to win some fights. And so you're not you're not at all hesitating for that moment when you got to box somebody for 10, 12 rounds and, you know, bo box them. Oh, not at all. You know, I'm just if um, for me, the better the guy is, the better I look, because it really it doesn't matter how good you are. You you your best brings the best out of me and you, you we're pushing each other and we just make each other look better. Definitely, man. Now you're a 140-pounder, so I got to get your take on a couple, uh, you know, events in boxing, man. What did you make of Terrence Crawford's victory over Jeff Horn this last weekend? I didn't get to see it. I was I was at the the Matters fight. I, I did see some of the clips, and from what I saw, he was really picking him apart. You know, uh, Horn is a really awkward fighter, and Crawford just made it look like he was breezing apart. Yeah, man, and obviously uh, Errol Spence fights this week, man. Eventually, if those two match up. Based on both of their styles, how do you see that fight playing out? And who would you give the edge to in an Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford fight? Honestly, I I've told everyone this: it's 50-50 because he uh, Errol he has the size and he has the power. He's he's not necessarily as fast like like Crawford. Uh, even Crawford's not like incredibly fast, but he's not faster than him. And uh, they're, they're both southpaws, right? 
Yeah, well, Crawford has the ability to go both sides, but he's been fighting out of the southpaw lately. Okay, okay. Well, you know, that that cancels out. You know, usually the southpaw has the advantage over right-hander, so they're equal right there, too. And Crawford, in my opinion, is smarter than Errol. And um, <laughs> Crawford's just hard to kind of hit sometimes. And Errol, you know, he hit sometimes, you know. Or they, they they both been stunned. I've seen fights where they both got stunned, you know, Gamboa for yeah. Crawford, and I forgot what fight it was for Spence, but – you, with yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, really, it's, it really is a one uh, 50 50 chance. It's, it's, for me, it's intelligence versus power for me, even though Spence does have. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The voice of the people, the boxing voice. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified anytime one of our videos drops. Ain't no other sight in the game. Casino boxing boy.